Question 15. Here is part of the timetable for class 6 on a Monday. Look at the timetable. Well, we start at 10.35 a.m. It's the earliest time we're given, and that is the start of break. Then we go to 10.55, which is the end of break. Then 11.45 takes us to the end of history. Then our science lesson starts, which goes all the way from 11.45 to 12.20. And that takes us through to lunchtime. 12.20 lunch starts and ends at 1.15. And from 1.15 we have PE and that lasts till 2.15. So what we've got to do is find how long is it from the end of break to the start of lunch. Well the end of break is 10.55 and the start of lunch is 12.20. So we need to find the gap. So if we, we can count it up in smaller chunks. So 10.55, if we round that up to the nearest hour, that's going to be 11 a.m. And that is a gap of five minutes. Then if we go from 11 a.m. to the next hour, which is 12 p.m., remember, as soon as you hit lunchtime, midday, you switch from a.m. to p.m. So that is, in fact, only one hour and then from 12 p.m. to 12 20 p.m. that is going to be 20 minutes so all we've got to do now is count up these gaps so we've got five minutes one hour and 20 minutes put it all together and you should get your final answer which is one hour 25 minutes and that's your final answer there is a part two to this question it says Nisha leaves the science lesson after 25 minutes then she goes to the dentist what time does she leave the science lesson so let's go to the science lesson which starts at 11 45 she's leaving after 25 minutes so we need to add on 25 minutes onto 11.45. Let's go down to here because we've got a bit of extra space. So 11.45, add on 25 minutes. Now what some people try and do here is they try and do a column method, but it won't work because if you do this, 5 and 5 is 10, kind of 1, 4, 2 and 1 is 7, 1, plus nothing is 1, 1 plus nothing is 1. You only get 11.70. Now that doesn't make any sense at all because there are only 60 minutes in one hour. So 11.70 doesn't make any sense at all. So an easier way to do it is to say, right, okay, if we start at 11.45, if we go to the next hour, which would be 12, then that is actually 15 minutes and we've got to do 25 minutes so we if we've done 15 minutes already we've got to do an extra 10 minutes and an extra 10 minutes on to 12 o'clock is 10 past 12 okay so the final answer for this question is 12 10 and there is no units there remember after lunchtime midday it is p.m. so it's 12 10 p.m. and there's your two answers one hour 25 minutes and 12 10 p.m.